Yo, what's going on, guys? Dusty Waffle back here for season number five. Already season five of our Seattle Sockeye expansion franchise in NHL 20. Um, to start, just a real quick look at our lines. Uh, so we got Dylan Cousins. Alec Cavanaugh, Lucas Raymond. Uh, we signed Alec Cavanaugh last season, uh, last off season, as New Jersey was unable to re-sign him. Uh, second line, sticking with our Anthony trio of Duclair, Beauvillier, and Sorelli. Third line, we got Max Jones, Chaz Lucius, and Daniel Sprong. Hey, yeah, I got it. Forza, all good. Uh, thank you. Real quick, uh, how does it sound, if you can let me know? Everything. And then fourth line is Ryan Dezingle, uh, Jansen Harkins, and Andre Kasha. Uh... Defensively, Kirill Nachuskin, Tori Krug, Ryan Pulak, Hayden Fleury, and then Bode Wild and William Valinder. And in net, Ilya Samsonov and Yaroslav Askarov. That'll be our goaltending tandem here in year number five. And we will get up to the regular season and get right in to the home opener. So our home opener this year is against the Toronto Maple Leafs, or as I like to call them, the Toronto Maple Lefts, because they always choke, and they did yet again in real life. Um, yeah, we'll go with our home jerseys. So here we go. First game of the year in Key Arena in Seattle versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. The debut of Alec Cavanaugh on this top line alongside Max Jones, or excuse me, Dylan Cousins and Lucas Raymond. So here he is, Cavanaugh. Wins his first faceoff as a member of the Sockeye. Marner with the steal. Josh Manson. Fired wide. Krug. Hounded behind the net by Marner but turned over and Seattle a chance to counter. Krug up to Raymond. Here's Lucas Raymond. Unable to get the shot away. Dennis Malgan bumped as he dumps it in. Nachuskin behind to retrieve it, plays it to Raymond, and he'll let one go. Good stop. Lilia Grin will break it out to Tavares. He's bumped, turned over to Dylan Cousins, and Sorelli can break the other way. Sorelli, good glove save by Ben Bishop there. Namesnikov. Dumps it in deep. Nachuskin's pass deflected, but still ends up on his target. Sorelli's stick. Hayden Flurry. Slows up in the corner. He'll retreat back to the blue line and across to Nachuskin. Down low to Sorelli. Trying to get a good cycle going here. He's bumped, but plays it to Nachuskin. Down low to Beauvillier. Tied up in front. And turned over, here comes the Maple Leafs. 
Flurry checks his man off the puck and plays it around to Duclair. And here's Chaz Lucius making his NHL debut. Rips one on net. Good stop by Bishop. On the point. Stopped. Jones in the corner. In front. Lucius nearly gets his first career goal. Pulak at the point. He'll play it to Sprong. Rangers. What's going on, buddy? Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, and how does everything sound for you? In front, turned over, here's Chaz Lucius. Lucius, lets one rip, stop by Bishop. White Cloud, play to Bedeen. Keatley, nice block. Bode Wild hit behind his own net. Good recovery, and here's William Valinder also making his NHL debut. To Zingle, to Harkins. Jansen Harkins. And the sock guy swim upstream early here against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yes, Rangers, beat the Leafs. That is the goal here to start off year number five. Harkins gets the first goal of the campaign, and William Valinder picks up his first career NHL point on the assist. Here's Wild at the point. He'll walk. Wrist one. Good stop by Bishop and White Cloud can break to Lemieux. Dermot to Bedeen. To White Cloud. Dermot lets one fly from the point. Fired just wide. Valinder to lead the rush. Into the corner. He'll slow up to the point. Bode Wild, his shot is blocked. Lemieux. He's got a breakaway. Nice defensive play by Valinder to get back. Dylan Cousins pulls up in the corner in front. Kavanaugh fires wide. Lemieux turns it over. But a big hit allows Toronto to break the other way. Turned over. Here's Valinder. Nearly sprung Anthony Duclair, but the pass was intercepted. Duclair. With the pick, here's Pulak. He'll feed it in the middle. Matthews, good interception. Seattle looking for some of those big outlet passes, and they're just not working right now. Malgin. Here's Manson. At the point. Pass was blocked. Here's Sorelli. Good stop by Bishop. Duclair. Looking for Krug, but Krug missed the puck. But Toronto will dump it in and go for a line change. Final two minutes here of the opening period. Not much action. Just one goal to speak of, and that came off the stick of Jansen Harkins. A nice shot from the right side up and over the blocker of Ben Bishop to give the Sakai a 1 0 lead. On that goal, we saw William Valinder pick up his first career NHL point on an assist on the play. Final five seconds, last chance. Shot blocked. And that will do it. After one period of play, Seattle leads 1-0 over the Maple Leafs here at Key Arena in Seattle. Hey, Spencer. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping in. How's your Monday going? So, a very dominant period by the Sockeye out shooting the Maple Leafs 10-1. How, uh, how much longer do you have of work until you get home? 
But that's good. Can't complain. Love to hear that. Offside. Early on. Tavares will take the draw against Kavanaugh. Oh, okay. So you're at home working. That's not too bad. Has it been, uh, like, rather boring, uh, for your work since you're at home, um, all day? Uh, Badger? Marner in the corner to Tavares. In front, Marner gets stopped by Sam Sonov. He'll lay it to Krug, who can start the break with Raymond. His shot is deflected, and Bishop will hold on for the whistle. Makes sense, Badger. That'd just be slow a little bit. Um, Rangers, they're going to lose six more uh, series deciding games in the next six years. Because the Maple Leafs suck, as I say that Austin Matthews were tied at one. But that's okay, plenty of time. It was great last night to see uh, Toronto choke yet again in a deciding game of a series. Duclair drops to the point to Flurry. He'll walk the line a little bit, fired just wide. Intercepted by Pulak. Here's Sorelli. Drops to Flurry. Shot was blocked to the corner. Sandin loses it to Duclair. Pulak. Little dipsy doodle. Shot is blocked, and that will go all the way down for icing. 14 15 to go in the second period. Six nothing. The shots here in the second in favor of Toronto, but there's the first one for the Sockeye Rangers. Uh, I can't remember if I asked you or not, but who's your uh, favorite hockey team if you have one? Valinder deflected. Yeah, I mean they have. Some good players, although I do think some of them are overrated, uh, such as Nylander and Matthews uh, and Morgan Riley. But when you put like fifty million dollars into four guys, you're not going to perform well without uh, good depth pieces. The point turned over. Here's Ketley. Jones picked off that pass. And Vlasic can break the other way. Dumped in, and Valinder is there. Nearly sprung Max Jones, but a nice defensive stick by Brenda or by Travis Dermott, excuse me. Bode wild. Jones, a little back skate. Fires one over the blocker of Ben Bishop. And Seattle retakes the lead 2-1. to one. Bishop caught a little bit deep in his net there. And Jones, just a wrist shot from high slot. Threw a little bit of traffic early, but Bishop, you'd expect him to make that save. As he is unable to. And it's 2-1 Seattle. As Valinder gets his second assist of the year. Lemieux, good tip in front, Samsonov, good save. Around behind, stolen by Harkins, and here comes Seattle yet again. Kasha, Harkins, not sure if that shot was blocked or stopped, but unable to beat. Ben Bishop and Samsonov 
Comes up big on the breakaway from Marner, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Tavares wins the draw, but it's taken back by Seattle. Walks across. Good stop by Bishop in front. Aloya Grin collects the loose puck. Raymond trying to find something but unable to do so. Back come the Leafs. Good step up there by Nachuskin. Raymond wrists one and he goes high blocker. And it's 3-1. Sakai lead. What a shot by Lucas Raymond. He gets his first goal of the year. Just lets one fly. Um, Rangers, are you talking about the EASHL team? Of Sitches? And yes, just keep swimming. 3-1. High blocker has been a problem, it seems, today for Ben Bishop. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Blizzard, it's been fun to play uh, the ESHL with him. Had a little bit of a dry spell yesterday. We lost, I think, like four in a row at one point. But uh, picked up towards the end of his stream. I think we ended on like a three-game win streak or something like that. Flurry to Beauvillier. Ooh, nearly walked around White Cloud. Matthews bumped off and Cousins will play it to Beauvillier. Nemesnikov to the point. Little give and go action with Robertson. Dumped in, but turned over. Nearly sprung Cousins on the delayed offside for the Maple Leafs. 2.50 to go, second period. Two goals here by Seattle to give them a 3 1 lead after Toronto knotted it, knotted it at 1. And there's another one, blocker side. Dylan Cousins fires it past Ben Bishop. It's 4-1. Cousins walked across the slot and just let a wrister go. And it beats Bishop on the blocker side again. with two minutes to go in period number two. Law to the point. Stopped by Sam Sonov. Bode Wild to lead the break. Nice defensive play by Vlasic. As Sandin will break it out to Law. Turned over to Harkins. Valinder back to Harkins through the middle. 10 seconds left. Law with the steal. One last look here for Toronto. Wrist it in. And Samsonov will play that into the corner. So after two periods of play, the Sakai lead the Maple Leafs by a score of 4-1. to one. Off of three goals in the second period after Austin Matthews tied it at one. Raymond and Cousins both get their first of the year, as does Max Jones. So here we go, third period, looking to close out the home opener with a win. Around behind. Here's Cousins. Just missed him. But can he beat out the icing? And he will. Kavanaugh. His first goal as a sock guy. 
And it's 5-1 Seattle. Yo, Stealth. Thank you for the host. That is awesome, man. I really appreciate that. Cousins beat out the icing. Spun around behind the net. A left a backhand pass across. Kavanaugh. Just one time to pass Bishop to make it 5 1. Uh, not much stealth. Um, just starting year number five. We're in our home opener. Uh, a very solid performance so far. Um, Kavanaugh, that's his first goal as a sock guy as we. Uh, signed him as a free agent this year as New Jersey was unable to re-sign their first overall pick from 2019. Uh, yes, we are handing it to the Leafs. Additionally, uh, our defenseman who we took in the 2020 draft, William Valinder, he's got himself his first two uh, points as an NHL player. How are you doing, Stealth? Krug to Raymond. Nearly broke around Vlasic, but Matthews back the other way. Mesnikov, good stop by Sam Sonov. Oh, nice, Stealth. Uh, what do you have for dinner tonight, if you don't mind me asking? Stand in. Hey, nothing wrong with a sandwich for dinner. Good glove save there by Sam Sonov. Closing in on the midway point of period number three with 13 and a half to go. Down the wing. Back to Sandin. Vlasic down low. Uh, I'm just on uh, default sliders, except I make um, the sim scoring high, so it's more realistic. Uh, because I feel like on the base sim scoring engine, there's not as many goals uh, as there should be, personally, in my opinion. But that's the only difference that I make as Bishop hangs on for the glove save. Oh, geez. So the Avs got Kako and are still only the 8th seed out west. That is interessante. As Duclair is hit. Um, but I play on the second hardest difficulty. Uh, whatever that is. Like All Star. Um, I think that's what All Star is. Sometimes you get games like these, sometimes you get like one nothing games, and other times I just get absolutely destroyed by the computer. Here's Bode Wild. Yeah, I think that's um for someone who doesn't play all that like hardcore um NHL, All Star is probably the most uh realistic and like competitively balanced difficulty yeah you add Kako to that team um, with Landis Cog, McKinnon, Rantanen that offense is insane it could be their goaltending Rangers uh, that could be their downfall as Matthews buries the rebound past Samsonov and it's 5-2. Six and a half to go. Harkins wins the draw to Nachuskin. And here comes Dezingle. Manson to Matthews. Hit by Nachuskin. Andre Kasha. Takes the hit but gets to Dezingle. And here's Nachuskin. 
Drops to the point. Tori Krug. Shot blocked. Looking for a howitzer there from Tori Krug. Tavares tries to stride Deke but loses it. Does Engel back the other way? Krug at the point. Gets a little bit behind Bishop, but Marner's there to pick up the loose puck. Marner to Tavares. Dennis Malgin off the outside of the net. Bovillier can counter. He'll pull up in the corner, but turned over to Josh Manson. In front, good stop by Sam Sonov, and he'll play it to Hayden Fleury. Final two minutes here in the home opener. Looks as if the Sakai will win their first game of this campaign. Nice tip in front. Trying to add one more. As it looks like the Maple Leafs will pick up their first loss on the season. Samsonov will hang on for the whistle. That is, that's weird, Rangers, um, that it's always, like, high-scoring, like, 6-5 games like that by the end of regulation slash overtime. Good poke. Sprong. Max Jones! Intercepted by Barclay. Good draw. Badin. Sanded. Stolen by Chaz Lucius. Can he get his first career NHL goal? No. Rangers, are you... Are you the one who's doing the expansion with, uh... Indianapolis? Cousins. Point twenty seconds left while, uh, Valinder. Shot blocked, Alec Cavanaugh! That's right, yeah, yeah, high-powered offense versus Druen and Mantha in the same sim engine. I'm, I mean, fair enough, that will cause, or should cause, a decent amount of goals to be scored. As Kavanaugh gets his second of the game, with assists from Raymond and Valinder. So 2.4 to go. And a 6-2 Seattle victory seems to be in the books here at Key Arena. Bode Wild will just throw it down. The final horn sounds. And it's a 6-2 win for the Sakai. We'll watch the celebration real quick. Samsonov picks up his first win of the year, giving up two goals. Not a bad performance from him. As Seattle will jump into the boards to celebrate with the fans. With the salute. Final stats. Seattle outshoots Toronto 23-21. Toronto with more hits 16-10 and an even 12-12 12 and 12 in the faceoff dot for each team. Three stars of the game. All three come from Seattle. Third star, William Valinder, three assists. Lucas Raymond, the second star. He picked up a goal and an assist. And tonight's first star in his debut with the Sockeye, Alec Cavanaugh, two goals and one assist. So good start to the campaign here in year number five. As Seattle looks to build off a Western Conference Finals appearance last season. We'll see if they can... Push it even farther and make their first Stanley Cup final appearance in franchise history. Or perhaps bring home the cup. So we'll begin our simulation. Um, let's go up to this Edmonton game. Uh, stealth. I think I do... It's either four or five minute periods. I can't remember exactly. I know... I have some franchises I do that are like four minutes and some that are five. 
Uh, Avery, what's going on, buddy? Welcome in. How are you today? Good start to the year. We were 5-0 and before picking up our first loss to the Islanders on the road. Yes, Avery, you picked up on the little VIP action there for you. Stealth, are you uh are you streaming tonight? As we close up this simulation up to the Edmonton game. Uh what are you what are you streaming tonight, Stealth? So November eighteenth. We are ten five and one, as we will play host to the Edmonton Oilers. Not sure yet. Okay. Not too bad. Seventh. Uh, what do you go? Eight thirty your time. Is that when you go live, Stealth? Uh, as we start the first period sim here, I will definitely stop in Stealth once uh, I finish up my stream. Uh, Avery, what are you making? If you don't mind me asking, because you're peeling some shrimp now after making some wonton wrappers, Shea Avery. So after one period, excuse me, uh, nothing, nothing. So we'll start period number two. Stealth, you're not the uh, you're not the first person to say that. Uh, as Kyler Yamamoto, it's the first goal of the game, but Harkins replies. Um, I don't know, probably don't know him, but uh, one of my uh, viewers, one of the guys I watch, uh, the situation, he started um, his Buffalo Sabres franchise after uh, I did last, started on here last Monday. So you're right there with him. Uh, so f six goals in the period. You have Edmonton, a 4-2 lead. Yamamoto, McGinn, McDavid, and Yashin. As Harkins and Duclair each get a goal apiece for Seattle. And we will enter in here to the third period. Ooh, some wonton soup, Avery. Nice. Not too shabby. Sounds pretty good. Uh, there you go, Stealth. Uh, we're on five-minute periods in this one. This franchise mode. Yeah, I think I think so. I think that's probably the best time like length to use as we start the third period here. McDavid across the cleft bomb. Nice hit. Here comes Cavanaugh, but a pat penalty is called a charging. Not sure about that as Cousins will head off. Only looked like two strides to me, but apparently that's why I'm not a referee in this game. So Edmonton's two for two on the power play. In front, McGinn. Askarov. Plays to the corner. Here's Sorelli. Dezingle. The outlet pass. Across Sorelli. Hit as he attempted to take that shot. Back come the Oilers. In front, Kajula. Good stop by Askarov again. Sorelli. Tried to feed Valinder, but couldn't. Gaudet. Fires wide. McGinn. In front, the one-timer. Wide of the net as well. Dry Seidel. Put in front for McGinn. But his shot, one time uh, redirection, was stopped. And Askarov will hang on for the whistle midway through the Edmonton power play. So, so far, Connor McDavid fourth in the league with 10 goals. Coming in to about a month into the season. 
Not a bad start for him, but we see Cole Caulfield there leading the league with 13 goals for the Canadians. Pulak, unable to clear as Yamamoto gets it in deep, but there's a flurry. He'll play it to Kavanaugh. Good work by Kavanaugh. Killing a little bit of this penalty, but turned over to McDavid. Benson's hit, plays it to McDavid. Good stop! Rebound winds up on the stick of Tyler Benson. And it's a 5-2 Oiler lead. Spenson has his second goal on the campaign. As Edmonton's now 3-for-3 three three on the power play here tonight in Seattle. Dreisaitl stood up at the line. Raymond. Here's Dylan Cousins. Just offside. Heponiemi, I believe was, is that who that was. He's behind the net, working. Yes, Heponiemi. Not sure if he was acquired in a trade with Florida or if he was a free agent signing. But that's interesting to see uh, Alexi here in Edmonton. Cousins. Tried to poke it free to uh, Flurry, but unable to. Heponiemi hit by Sprong and a chance to counter. Picked off and here comes Edmonton. In front pass stolen by Lucius and he can break. Chaz Lucius. Good stop by Comrie and he'll hang on for the whistle. 6.57 gone by here, period number three. Edmonton with a 5-2 lead. Nachuskin. His shot was blocked. Dumped in. And Nachuskin will pick it up. Sitch. What's going on, man? How are you doing this fine evening? Thank you for stopping in. Yes, the Sockeye. Clef bomb. To Hendricks LaPierre to Brock McGinn. Tori Krug tried to feed it to Duclair, but was unable to get it through. Off the boards, here's Beauvillier. Hit by Yashin to Poyarvi. Stopped by Askarov. Nearly sprung again, but a good defensive stick. I'm doing good, Sitch. Um, this is our second uh, game we are getting some actual gameplay in. Uh, right now, I believe we are 10-5-1, uh, middle of November, or October, excuse me. Uh, LaPierre, pass, intercepted, Kasha, good stop by Comrie. How are you doing, Sitch? Yamamoto. His pass is picked off by Cousins. Uh, okay. Thanks, Badger. I will do that uh, at the end of this game. Along the wall. Hit by Cousins. Here he goes. Uh, in front, Askarov will play it to Wild. Raymond breaks through. Walks across. Fired over the top of the net. Oh, nice, Sitch. Good. Uh, done for the day with the work. That's uh, good to hear. In front, Benson. Nice poke by Jones. And Bode Wild will pull it free. Wrist. No. In front. Sprong tried to get it to the point to Nachuskin. 
or to wild, excuse me, but unable to. Here comes Max Jones. In front. He'll lay it into open space for Pulak. He'll walk the line. Wrist on net. Good stop by Comrie. A minute to go. A 5-2 lead. And I think we are going to pull the goalie here. See if we can get ourselves back in this. Lucius, Jones, and Sprong. One to the point. Here's Pulak. And there's one back. Ryan Pulak rips it from the point. And it gets past Eric Comrie to make it 5-3. And there is life for the Sockeye. With just about a minute to go here. 101. Pulak gets his third of the year. Beauvillier. Tried to find Duclair, but it was intercepted. Yes, Sitch. We swim upstream. Empty net yet again with 40 seconds left. Sorelli fired wide. Duclair. Nearly had the one-timer, but intercepted. Puyarvi dumps it in deep. Sorelli. To Duclair. 20 seconds left. Fired wide. That should do it. Hendricks LaPierre will ice it. And a 6 3 win for the Edmonton Oilers to end their five game losing streak. LaPierre gets his fourth goal on the year. Fired wide by Nachuskin. And that will do it. A 6-3 win for the Oilers against the Sakai here in Seattle. Ends the three-game win streak for Seattle. And snaps the five-game losing streak of the Oilers. <laughs> uh, Sitch. How do you know we don't have $47 hot dogs here in Seattle? As I think we will simulate up to this Rangers game. Back to back against Boston and Pittsburgh. Fall to Boston, but beat Pittsburgh. So 13 7 and 2 here. December 1st. So moving right along here in year number 5. Seeing if we can build off that Western Conference final appearance from a year ago. Hey, no worries, Sitch. Take your time. I appreciate the lurk. So middle of December, we are 17, 10, and 2. Good enough for tied first in the Pacific Division. As we will pick up the simulation here against the Rangers. And Dylan Cousins, a quick start. Gives us a 1-0 lead against the Rangers as he beats Lauren Brossois. Power play opportunity. Goes by the wayside. Another one? No, sir. So after one period of play, Dylan Cousins the opening goal. A minute 23 in. 
and the Sakai lead one nothing. Second period, Ryan Strom gets one past Askarov, and we're knotted at one here in the second period. But Duclair and Lucius beat Brassois. So entering the third period, we have a 3-1 lead against the New York Rangers. Uh, we will wear our home jerseys yet again. And here we go, third period. Big game here coming up towards the Christmas break. See if we can get some momentum going into that. Second line. Oh, where is uh, Kavanaugh? He might be injured. Bovillia picked off the pass. Here comes Cousins. Bumped off, and Truba will corral that. Crossed is Abinajad. Here's Kako. Good stop by Askarov. <clears throat> Lucas Raymond. He'll play it to Beauvillier in front. Fired just wide. Chris Kreider to Tony D'Angelo. Across nice poke by Max Jones. And a power play upcoming to Seattle. On the hook by the Rangers. Okay, so Kavanaugh is not injured. Not sure why he wasn't out there for the opening face-off with the top line, but good to see he was still healthy. Sorelli, he's hit, and here's Howden. Dumped in, and Kasha will retreat. Nearly sprung Sorelli, but the pass was picked. Zabinajad dumps in. Kasha starts the breakout. Here's Sorelli. Two on one. Pass blocked. Kavanaugh keeps. Unable to get it back to the point. And the Rangers can kill some of this power play. Off the boards to Kavanaugh. Not entirely sure where that pass was going as Lindgren picked it off. Howden. Good block by Kasha. Max Jones. The passing seems a little bit all over the place right now. As Lindgren is there and he'll play it up to Zabinijad. Bumped off the puck, but he still has it. Dumped around. Krug hit. Fighting behind the net. Heidel comes away with it. Good stop by Askarov. 20 seconds left on the man advantage. Not much doing for Seattle. Max Jones. A good glove save by Lauren Brossois right there. As that could have been a dagger into the hearts of the Rangers. As Max Jones was alone in front. Backhand rebound shot. Gloved away by Lauren Brossois. Along the wall. Dezingle. We'll leave it for Duclair. Penalty's over. Beauvillier into the corner for Jones. Max Jones walks around the circle. Hit as he went to take that shot. Get the lines back out there. Some defensemen. Sprong missed the check. Here comes Kako. Heedle will dump it in. But Wild retrieves it. Good pass. Here's Daniel Sprong. Beauvillier, his shot deflected wide. Wild across to Flurry. Bode Wild. 
could stop Rosua, and Truba can break it to Kratsov. Kratsov, hit, but it falls to Elias Anderson. Max Jones turns it over to Ryan Strom. Shot on net. Askarov catches it but plays it. Here's Sprong. And Max Jones makes it 4-1. Surely that will be enough for the Sakai to defeat the New York Rangers with under 10 minutes to go as Jones gets his sixth of the season. Nice one-timer on the pass. Across in front. Buries it. And the momentum seems to be all on the side of the Sakai. As they continue swimming upstream. Bode Wild tried to find Cousins. Pass was intercepted. Gautier. Puck bounced off his stick. Here's Alec Cavanaugh. Good look. But Braden Schneider knocked it away. Here's Othman. Howden. Good stop by Askarov. And here's Cousins to break. He'll get it in deep. See if Raymond could get there. He was unable to. Julian Gautier. He's hit. Loose puck picked up by Kavanaugh. Intercepted by Panarin. Valinder retrieves it behind his own net. Tried to find a zingle. Pass intercepted. And Askarov will hang on for the whistle. Six twenty to go in the third period. Four one Sakai lead. Fourth line is out there. Pass in front of his own net. Intercepted. But Askarov paying attention. A good stop there. Andre Kasha. Wrist one deflected to the corner where Dezingle can pick it up. Krug. Fires up high on Brassois and he will hang on. For the stop and play. Nachuskin walks the line. Good wrister from the point. But stopped by Brusswa again. Four forty seven to go. Nachuskin hits the crossbar. Nearly beats Brossois and does, but doesn't beat the post. Nice defensive play by Harkins. He'll play it to Kasha as he goes off for a line change. Kreider for the Rangers. Into the corner. Kasha retrieves it. And we'll just dump it in and let the single go to work. No icing. Lindgren's pass deflected. In front, Beauvillier. Puck does not reach him. Buchnevich dumps in, and Pulak is there. Final two minutes of regulation. Looks like the Sakai will hang on for a 4 1 victory at least here at Key Arena. Tori Krug makes it 5 1. Never mind, I spoke. Too soon, but in a good way today. Sully likes what he sees right there. Doing his job to get the crowd pumped. As Krug gets his fourth on the year. Elias Anderson. Bumped off the puck. Pulak to Duclair. Loses it to Truba. 40 seconds left. Kravtsov fires wide on the blocker side of Askarov. Good stop. Offside with 28.8 to go. Alec Cavanaugh leads the league 
in penalty minutes with 56 in the middle of December. I love to see that from our top line centerman. Panarin loses it. Here's Jones. Lucius stopped by Brassois. <clears throat> Sixteen point two to go. Key Arena. Lucius tied up, loses the draw. Stolen. Lucia, or Jones, excuse me, good effort, but turned aside, and Adam Fox will play it out. And that will do it. A 5-1 win for the Sockeye. Good performance. Outshot the Rangers 35-25 as I scare off. Stops 24-25. Gives up one goal and route to the third star of tonight's contest. We will pick up the simulation here, and let's do this game against the Devils and see what Lucia, or what um, Kavanaugh can do against his former club who chose not to match the offer of the Sockeye. At the Christmas break, 1913-2. So a good start to the year as we close out the calendar year of 2023. Two weeks away from our matchup against the Devils. Let's see if we can put together a little bit of a win streak here. We had a four-game win streak before losing there to Ottawa 6-5. But, middle of January, 26-15-2, which puts us, let's see, give us a second here. Puts us first in the Pacific Division, three points ahead of the Anaheim Ducks. And we'll get right into the simulation. First period, looking for a quick start here at home. As Tory Krug beats Aiden Hill. On a nice shot from the left point. Will that be the only goal of the period? And yes it is, so after one, Tory Krug the difference maker as the Sockeye lead one nothing. Midway through the second, not much action. Looks like we will be entering period number three with a Sakai one nothing lead, and yes, we are. Um, we'll go with the alternates, I think, for this one. Here we go, third period. Third period underway, Kavanaugh against Heesher at the dot. And Heesher wins it back to Butcher. Dumped in, but there's Nachuskin. Up to Kavanaugh, looking to do some damage against his former club. Fired just wide on the glove hand side of Hill. Raymond, good battle. Across Kavanaugh, it's Dylan Cousins, 2-0. Seattle leads. Good forecheck down low. 
by the trio, more so by the duo of Kavanaugh and Raymond. Kavanaugh picked up the loose puck, fed it across with his backhand to Cousins, who just redirects it home past Aiden Hill. 4 2 nothing. Sakai lead a minute 39 into period number three as Cousins collects his 18th goal of the season. Kavanaugh was looking to the point, unable to get it. Here's Askarov. He'll play it to Kavanaugh. Across to Cousins. Ran out of room between two devils. Here's Tomash Tatar. Hit. Cousins retrieves. And will start the breakout with Nachuskin. Tried to find Raymond, but intercepted. Forced wide into the corner. Turned over. No. Still battling. Across the hall. Down low to Stutzla. But Duclair picks it up, and here he comes. Wristed. Got between the legs of Hill, but he's able to squeeze him and keep him from going anywhere. Here's Hayden Fleury at the point. Not sure if that was tipped or not, but Hill able to make the save. Smith to Zaka, Pavel Zaka. Little delay at center ice to Brent Clark. Clark spins away from Lucius but turns it over to Sprong. Jones nearly sprung Lucius but the pass just missed. But here comes Sprong, enters into the devil zone. Lucius! Good one-time effort, but stopped by Aiden Hill. <clears throat> Twelve oh five to go here, third period. Twenty-five twenty-five in the face-off circle each. In front, good stop on the wrist shot by Harkins. Wild bumped as the puck exits the zone. Hounded, I believe he was hooked, I know, tripped, and that will send Seattle to the power play. Sorelli, shot blocked, Kavanaugh to the point to Duclair. Tried to make a move, but unable to, and here's Smith. To Clark at the point, back to Smith. Cousins intercepts the pass. And Dylan Cousins, second of the period, makes it 3 nothing on the power play. His 19th of the season at 9.07. And a 3 nothing lead. Should probably do it here for... The Seattle Sakai victory. But don't want to get too complacent. I always say the three goal lead is the most dangerous in hockey. Cousins hounded by Hall. Unable to clear it. But thumped in. And here back the other way come the Sakai. Nice stick lift by Suban. Good pass in front. Rebound. P.K. Subban makes it 3-1. Like I said, don't want to get complacent here with a 3-0 lead. Subban grabbed the rebound. And got it past Askarov. Sorelli! Good stop. Quick response here is what Seattle's looking for. And they've got the momentum a bit. With some zone time. Cross intercepted by Smith. And back the other way. Here's Tatar. 
Drop pass to Smith, who's hit at the line. To Duclair. Bode wild. Nearly sprung Beauvillier, but picked off. Six and a half to go, third period. Here comes Beauvillier. Toe drags around the defense. Ty Smith, good defensive play. Beauvillier. Rister blocked by Barry. Marco Rossi. To Kukkonen. Yanni Kukkonen dumps it in deep. Nachuskin tried to play it out, but is hit. Stop by Askarov. And he'll hang on for the whistle. Hayden Flurry. Up to Max Jones. He's hit. Chaz Lucius. At the point. Walks across the line a bit. Unable to get a shot away. So here comes Jack Hughes. Taylor Hall flattened. Pulak up to Lucius. Chaz Lucius. Good poke by Hill. Here's Jack Hughes. Nico Heeshear. Bumped off and Lucius picks up the loose puck. And he'll start the lead into the zone. Lucius rips one. Good stop by Hill. Final minute. We're closing in on here. Empty net for the Devils. Dumped in. In front. No. Good stop. By Askarov. Behind the net. 40 seconds to go. Daniel Sprong picks it off. Max Jones. Tried to get it to Lucius. Unable to. Sammy Blay. Good stick by Flurry. Clark picks off the pass. The shoe skin. Here's Chaz Lucius. Final 10 seconds. But that should do it anyways. Dumped in. Sprong. Can he get it from all the way? No, he can't. But there is the final horn. As the Sakai take it 3-1 over the New Jersey Devils. So, a 3-1 victory against the Devils will lead us into our simulation up to the trade deadline. I will be right back. I'm going to run to the bathroom, um, but I'll let this simulate for you guys. All right, I am back, everybody. Um, starting to feel a little sick, um, so I think I'm just going to get us up to the end of the season here, uh, the regular season, that is, um, 
and end it off uh, there and then pick up where we leave off on Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, we'll try to get through the end of the regular season here. Shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make any moves at the deadline. Uh, stick with what we have. I think we have a good squad here for this playoff run. See if we can get past this Toronto game and into the deadline. Uh, I'm not sure why the simulation is going so slow right now. Um. This is strange. Let's see. Uh, so at the deadline, we are 36, 24, and 3. Good enough for 75 points, which puts us first in the Pacific Division. Uh, we'll take a quick look at stats and then finish up... Uh, the season simulation. So Cousins, uh, 61. Kavanaugh, 50. Beauvillier, 44. Sorelli, 43. Duclair, 40. Uh, Raymond, 39. Krug, 39. Jones, 35. Kasha, 30. Uh, and Lucius at 25. He's got 15 goals. Uh, and our goalies... Uh, Sam Sonov is 22, 17, and 1, a 903 and a 311. And Askera, 14, 9, and 2 with two shutouts, a 913 and a 2.58. So looking good all across the board for us. And we will finish up the regular season sim right now. Hopefully we make the playoffs for the first time in back-to-back -back years as a franchise. With 12 games to go. A hotly contested Pacific Division like always. A four-way tie for that top spot at one point. Let's see. Four, uh, five games left. Can we go on a stretch here just to lock this up? So two games left. We're two points clear of San Jose, I believe. Or Edmonton, excuse me. So it's going to be tight down the stretch here with two games left. Uh, we will slow sim both of them, I think. So first period, here we go. Not much action here in the first power play opportunity. It's a long one. No good for Seattle. So after one period, we're knotted at zero still. A win here should almost guarantee us a spot in the playoffs yet again. Lucas Raymond and Beauvillier get two back-to-back -back late in the second period for a 2-0 lead entering into period numero tre. 
but Carlson beats Samsonov, as does Lucas Johansson. If we reach overtime, I will enter in, but Andre Kasha says we don't need overtime. See so beats Jari on the power play. Two and a half to go. Lucas Raymond, empty netter, and a 4-2 victory. Gives us the win and hopefully clinches us a spot in the playoffs, and it does. So we will just simulate through this Boston game and see who we get in the first round. Will we finish first in the Pacific for the third time? Yes, we will. Giving us, uh, looks like the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and yes, it is. Um, so, I'm going to end it there, guys. Sorry for it being uh, a short stream. I had been sick uh, a little bit since last night. Thought I got over it, um, but it just hit me again. Uh, so, I'm going to end it here. So, we finish the regular season, we make the playoffs again, uh, the one seed out of the Pacific Division, we host the Blackhawks, um, we'll start there on Wednesday, Orbit, uh, what's going on buddy, I'm just actually wrapping up uh, the stream, I'm not feeling too hot right now, um, but we have made the playoffs, uh, Avery, thank you. Uh, stick around. I'm going to do a raid uh, real quick. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, put them in the chat. Um, you know what? We're going to go uh, to my boy, jo uh, Dwayne. He's uh, from the UK. He is streaming some uh, golf with your friends right now. So... We'll get that going. Uh, thanks, Orbit. Yeah. Uh, just kind of started last night, but um, thought I got over it. Still feeling it a little bit now. So don't want to have to like keep running back and forth from the bathroom and whatnot for you guys. 